uh, we are armed, ready to fire. In three, two, one. This plank smashes into a window to simulate flying debris. So far, this is incredible. Wind engineers at the University of Florida have been conducting experiments like these for the past eight years. The data that's produced show how building materials hold up in the most violent weather. All right. And lead to the development of building codes and new standards for weatherproofing. Let's create a hurricane in a laboratory. We can't wait for the next event to develop findings. This allows us to replicate hurricanes that are expected to happen every year. So we're talking about millions or billions of dollars in savings by the research that you're doing. Oh, billion, billions of dollars, of course. Anywhere from you know, three to five billion dollars a year are, are caused by, by hurricanes. This test blows 200 mile per hour winds across a typical shingled roof. The concrete shatters into tiny pieces. The wind speed is up to a little over 200 miles per hour, but this machine is capable of replicating over 230 mile per hour winds, which is really you know, the worst that nature's fury can bring. We're going to raise the load until we see a catastrophic failure. Here's what happens when intense wind pressure is applied to a garage door. <gasps> oh my goodness! This particular system can produce the types of loads that you'd see on an extreme Category 5 storm on the top of a skyscraper or an EF4 tornado in a low-rise building. We're going to get hit by debris. We're always going to have to live with extreme weather. But what we can do is engineer the places that we live and work to withstand the storms of today or 100 years from now.